Do you know when I was old enough to ask about Dad? Remember what you told me? You said, we just have to take care of each other. And that's all I'm doing, Mom. Shrimp cakes? Gosh, I haven't had those since... Uh, since... Dad made them for us? <laughs> I didn't think you were old enough to remember. Well, I remember enough. I remember how his beard would scratch my face when he hugged me. How he used to make you laugh. But most of all, how much he hurt you when he left. They always remind him of the day when his dad disappeared. Interesting. I did not know Jim's father was a magician. Mm, not magic disappeared. More like walked out because he's a deadbeat disappeared. I just moved into the house across the street and Jim's dad got me a sweet bike kit for his <laughs> fifth birthday. And then he just took off. The pieces laid there in the garage for years. Your mother is Barbara Lake. Your best friend is Tobias Domzelski. Your father disappeared when you were five. He's been talking to the new guidance counselor about his father. Guidance and... counselor? Yes. Here I am on a date, going on about Jim's father. Having a father walk out on one's life is a traumatic experience enough, but at his tender age... You know I don't care about my father. You do now. Then he vanishes without a goodbye. What kind of man does that? Hence the horns. They're symbolic. Wow, Mom. Quite the imagination. Oh, thank you, sweetie. First your father, and now him. What? He's gonna hear that. <laughs> Is what my mom will say about my father. Who oh, I never see? That bomb. That's what Walter loved most about you. That you never give up. That you see things through. You always have. Not like your father. We never talk about him. I've always wondered. There's really nothing I can tell you, Jim. No big revelation I can give you. No great thing I can say, except you're your mother's son. <laughs>